Hello, everybody. This is Mary. Hi, this is Haruka. Welcome to our cooking show. <laughs> so, a while back, this little guy came in in one of the uh, Japan crates, and it's a do-it-yourself, make-your-chocolate lollipop candy thing. And we're going to make it so, with our handy-dandy instruction booklet to because show us how. we can't read this. Nope. At all. We just don't have the capabilities of doing so. <laughs> Thus, we have our English translation. <laughs> so let's get started. All right. Let's so... open it. I'm excited. Everything is always so much tinier than I expect it to be. <laughs> I know, right? Everything's so little. <laughs> it looks, on the packaging, it looks like it should be so big. Yeah, but, okay, so we have some candies. Like some little tiny candy. This is a chocolate bar that I would just devour anyways. And I guess we stir or something with these, or this is... No, you probably hold it, like, to make it yeah. the lollipop. Yeah. And then here's the tray to put all the stuff in. And I don't know what this is. I think this might be a guide it to is. put under the tray. It says place tray oh. over pattern guide. Look at us! <laughs> okay, cool. Or I guess you could do it like... Oh, yeah. Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. All right, we'll just That do looks it. way too difficult. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do the frog and the triangle. Oh, it's an umbrella. <laughs> I'm so glad you could tell what that was, because I was like, green and pink. Green I don't know pink. what that is. <laughs> it's an umbrella, which is super cute. In Japan, you know how in America, um, whenever you have a crush on somebody or whatever, you write your name and his or her name in a little heart. So in Japan, you draw an umbrella and you write the names under the umbrella. Oh, that's cute! Is that cute? Yeah, yeah that's, that's super cute, so... That is adorable. <laughs> right, so, so let's get started. Okay, so place tray over pattern guide. We did that. Create pattern using different colored candy beads on the tray with included tweezers. These are the tweezers, then. And the beads, we have pink, blue, and green. So... Oh, this is just going to be a mess, I it? This is... This is. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm not good with tiny things. I think if you want to use your fingers, that's, that'll be fine. Because those don't look very sturdy. I'm going to try it. <laughs> so, here's the green ones if you want to have a go. Maybe I'm doing it backwards. Oh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Or we can just throw them in there and call it abstract. Okay, how about that? And then we... Oh dear, that's not... Yeah, we're not gonna make cute designs. It's just... We're not... We're not artistic in that No, sense. God, no! So, let's just get some pink ones in there, too. We're gonna do what's called abstract art, which basically yes. means throw shit and call it art. Call it art. Boom. Well, you know, the umbrella might not be too hard. And you want to give it a go. I already messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, just... Let me see. The umbrella should be... Okay. Let's see. This is... This has got to be really boring for y'all. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> As we get ourselves together. I guess I could have told my fun fact during this... <laughs> Do you have any more fun facts? Everything. Oh, um, unrelated, one of my classmates, I didn't do the umbrella well at all. Yeah, um, one of my classmates was telling me about a rabbit island on, in Japan. I think I just lost one piece there. Which are good. So no, about rabbit island. <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of rabbits on this island, like it's just infested with rabbits, like there's a ton of them. You can just go and hang out with the rabbits. Isn't there a cat island too? I don't know. There, I think there's like a fox forest or a fox like sanctuary or some sort. Yeah. Okay, you know what? That's, that's good. This is good. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> right. It's really, really, really pretty. It's, it's high art. <laughs> it is. So we created our pattern. Now it says to crush the bag of chocolate. Like crush it. I don't know. Do you want to be honest? Like... Oh my god. You try really? it. it. It's really hard. It's not. Let's use the candles. Oh, it didn't break! <laughs> did it really not? It really didn't! Okay, hang on. Ah, uh, here we go. 
Okay, I got it. It loosened Yay! the candle loosened it up. Okay. Because I am strong. I'm not, by the way. <laughs> Alright, so crushed chocolate bar in the bag. In place, crushed chocolate and microwavable cup. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. That's fine, I don't know. I scared the dog. <laughs> she was like, nah, I'm not dealing with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what these. Ah. <laughs> Alright! I'm gonna go put this in your microwave. You go put this in your microwave. I don't know how to work your microwave. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it says to pop in the microwave for one minute. So we're gonna let that happen for a minute. Yeah. I don't know how to do more fun facts. I'm gonna stay here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, fun facts about Japan. I could give random facts about like random stuff. I don't know anything about Japan. Oh no, wait, yes I do. Surely you do. Yeah. I do. What do you know There's about Japan? There's this island that, oh shoot, it'd help if I remember everything about it. There's this island, it's basically abandoned, and it's, it was used as a um, coal or oil factory, probably coal. Mm -hmm. And they set it up so that all the workers could live out there with their families, and basically hard times hit and they can't make any money off of it anymore. And now it's basically abandoned, it's creepy as all get out, and the Japanese government will not let you go to the island. It's like Chernobyl. Because it's like haunted and stuff. Oh, that's so creepy. Not because it's radioactive, because they <laughs> honestly so would say it's haunted. I and mean, if, if, if someone tells me that something's haunted, I I believe them. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's it's just, not melted. Our chocolate is not melted. Put it there for another minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Another uh, fun fact. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Well, you know, so I'm pretty sure that probably everyone knows about the, um, the suicide forest in Japan, right? Yes. You know about that. They're doing a movie on that. They did a movie, and I oh. saw it. Oh, it's already released? Yeah, it already re yeah, it released in theaters. I saw it. I'm lucky I know what month it is anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so I went to go see it with some of my co-workers, and it was a good movie. It was pretty good. I don't know if Japan would like it. <laughs> uh, apparently Japan wasn't happy about it. I don't think they would be. Like, Have you I, seen the documentary? No, see that- I was, have okay. seen the documentary. See, I would prefer to watch, because I mean, it was- a, so the movie was a good fiction telling story, but I'm always iffy about movies that have- some kind of base in reality, yeah. you know, because there's a, there's always that level of respect that you have to, you know, consider, and then it's just, it was a little iffy. Overall, it was a good storytelling thing, but yeah. no, I would watch the documentary like that. That would be really interesting. That's melted. And burnt. <gasps> no, we burnt it? It's okay. We burnt it, you guys. It's okay. I'll figure this out. It smells burnt. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> this is why I don't cook. This is what, can you tell we cook on a regular no, basis? See, the thing is that it's still not really like melty melty, you know? Like, Maybe it doesn't need to be melty melty because it, um, no one says to stir to completely melt the chocolate. But if we put it in the microwave anymore, it's gonna burn. Yeah. We'll just do that. Yeah. This, this, is, <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Are we gonna have enough for both things? I don't know. We'll try the. Big one first, okay. and then we'll see about the little one. Because I think this is also the spoon part that you put in there. <laughs> so, top your candy drawing with chocolate. It's supposed to be melted. This this did not get melted. It looks more like milk. But it didn't melt well either. It really didn't. It could be your microwave. Maybe your microwave's not hot enough. Well, matter. that's the problem. It burned. I think it may be too hot. Oh, that's true. So... That's not going to spread well. <laughs> no, let me get another spoon. We may have to call a fail on this. Oh, oh dear. Okay. There we go. I'm going to lift the spoon, you guys. It's too hot to look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. Um, oh, okay. Use yeah. that to scrape the big glob of it off. Okay. And then... Good idea! Oh, 
Oops, you know what we were supposed to do? What were we supposed to do? We were supposed to take that and put it there before we put the chocolate on. It's okay. We can fix this. There's probably five-year-olds in Japan that do this all the time so easy, and here we are, grown adults. I think that a lot about the Kinder toys, you know, the Kinder eggs in, from Europe. Yeah. So, have you ever put one of those toys together, or at least the ones that, that you know, some of them are just like a little toy that you just have, and other ones are, uh, you actually have to put them together. Have you ever tried to put those together? I don't Some of those toys are like, like serious German engineering, <laughs> and I... Some of those toys I have a lot of difficulty getting together when I do get the opportunity to have a Kinder Egg. We don't have them here. No, which is awful. It's hard to find the Kinder Bars, too. Yeah. Like, we're allowed to have them in the U.S., but they're hard to find. I think you can get them at that candy store at Sugar. You can. Yeah, but I really like the, the eggs. The eggs have toys inside of them, so. But apparently they think that children yeah. are stupid and will check on them. Or, you know, the parents, you just couldn't buy it for your kids. <laughs> See, that's why. We're a little passionate about Kinder Eggs. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Okay, you guys, so it actually doesn't look that bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it in the fridge or the freezer? Um, it just says cool chocolate, so I'm going to say freezer just so we can cool it faster. Okay, let's put it in the fridge. Freeze, fridge, 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 freezer. Cool. Okay. Please, sir. Someone try it. Okay, please, please, please don't fall and make a mess. The chocolate tastes good. Does it? Yeah. Okay, so it's not crap chocolate? No, it's pretty good actually, yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we will check the freezer out in a little while and show you the finished product. Hopefully we have a finished product. Hopefully there's something to show. So. <laughs> Time for a skip. <laughs> oh. Now it's a really big one. Oh <laughs> my god. Difficulty. Technical difficulties like running into the camera stand. I'm not graceful at all. So. <laughs> Welcome back. We made our thing. <laughs> yeah. So, big reveal. Woo! <laughs> Here's the big reveal of our thing. So you're gonna try the lollipop one and see if you can get it out. I'm gonna pop out this one. So here's my umbrella design that I tried so hard. Hey, oh my gosh. It covered up the- It did cover up Yeah. One. Here's what was supposed to be the abstract one. And I guess the chocolate, there's actually a ton of beads right here, but I guess the chocolate seeped in under them and covered them up. But, yeah, that's what happened. Shall we then? Cheers. Yeah. Oh, my God, though. Mm, not bad, actually. Ryan tastes the burnt chocolate from earlier. <laughs> you sounded so sad. Because <laughs> I think it'd be really good if I hadn't burnt the chocolate earlier. I can taste the burnt chocolate. This one's good. It's not bad. You want the little, the little piece here? Yeah, maybe you yeah. don't have the burnt chocolate. What's the burnt? It's pretty good if you don't burn the chocolate. Don't burn the chocolate? Oh yeah, I can do it. So, but yeah, that was the second DIY kit from February's Japan crate. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed our epic fail on that. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't burn the chocolate. All right. So we'll see you next month for our regular videos. Bye, guys. Goodbye, bye.